what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel first and foremost huge thank you for watching a video on our raptor swap lightning now we knew it'd be a little controversial but for the most part you guys liked it now the most common question we get is what is the rear suspension setup so let's go ahead take this truck get it up on the lift and take a closer look The rear from factory is an independent rear suspension and it still is. TSW Off-Road took some Fox 3.0 DSC remote reservoir shocks and modified them. DSC stands for dual speed compression. That gives us a low speed adjuster and a high speed adjuster. Low speed is for slow suspension movement like cruising down the highway. High speed is for when you're going over obstacles at a higher speed and the suspension is moving or compressing at a higher speed. The springs are custom rate iBox springs and the shocks have custom TSW valving with tuned internal bypasses. The lower mounting point is a custom billet lower eyelet so it can be mounted to the OE mounting point. The front has four Raptor lower control arms, spindles, and tie rods all from a Gen 2 Raptor. The upper control arm is a Celine billet adjustable upper control arm and the axles are custom chromoly axles. The axles had to be custom made because the Raptor suspension sits wider than the OE suspension so we have to make longer axles to reach the hub. The front shocks are Fox Factory Race Series 3.0 DSC remote reservoir shocks with TSW valving and custom spring rates. So why didn't we just use the OE suspension, shocks, and spring rate from a Gen 2 Raptor? Well, to put it in perspective, a Gen 2 Super Crew Raptor weighs in at 5,697 pounds. Our Lightning with a standard range battery weighs in at 6,015 pounds. Now the difference there is that the Raptor, the Gen 2 Raptor with the EcoBoost motor and the transmission has a lot of that weight towards the front of the truck. Our Lightning has a frunk and no motor, but it does have the battery pack between the two axles, which completely changes the dynamic and weight distribution between the two trucks. That's why we have to use custom shocks with internal bypasses and custom spring rates to get this Ford Lightning to behave the way we wanted it to when we were off-roading. Another common question we get is about the flares on the Ford Lightning. They are in fact a Gen 2 Raptor flare. They were custom molded to fit the body of the Lightning, the front and the back, because the body is slightly different than a Ford Raptor body. All right guys, let's to wrap up today's video on our Raptor Swap Ford Lightning suspension, specifically the rear suspension, just like you guys asked. Now, if you haven't seen this thing in action, then definitely check out this video on our Raptor Swap Ford Lightning, or check out this video on our LJSB Bronco Wild Track. As always, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and smash that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace out. Whoa! Oh. <laughs>